Namaskaram. In this video lecture, we will learn how to calculate component 7 and global PSQI score. So let's move to the scoring instruction and the raw data. You can see at the right side, there is a scoring instruction and left side, there is raw data. So we have to examine question number 8 and 9 for component 7 scoring. For that, we need data. We need a response for question number 8 and 9. So let's copy question number 8 and question number 9 to a separate sheet. This is question number 8. Now we are moving to question number 9. Response. This is question number nine. So now you can see we have to give score according to response. So we can write S of eight, that is score eight and S of nine. That is score of nine. For score of 8, we have to apply filter. So let's apply filter here. And now there is response never, but in you can see du uh, during the response in Excel, not during the past month. So never and not during the past month is same here. So we have to apply filter, not during the past month. So it is same as never. So we have to score zero here. Zero to all this responses. And now moving to next. That is once or twice a week. So once or twice a week. It is two. Wait, let me check the question number eight. So question number eight suggests, so this is a scoring, not during the past month. This is a response actually. So you have to give zero, one, two, three accordingly, less than or once a week. Let me check. Once or twice a week. So it is score two. The scoring instruction is not right here. So we have to check from the according to PSQI questionnaire. Okay, now you can see not during the past month is zero. Less than once a week is one. Once or twice a week is two. Three or more than uh, three times a week is score three. Okay, so here we have only two options, once or twice a week and not during the past month. Now scoring of nine, so no problem at all. Now you, we can go for scoring instructions. Yes, now you can see no problem at all. We First, we have to remove the filter from here. Now apply filter at question number nine. So no problem at all. First take no problem at all responses and assign score zero. Now taking to the second one, only a very slight problem. Give score one. And now 
somewhat of a problem. Give score two. And the last one is a very big problem. If there is any, you have to give three score. And then remove the filter. Now you have to add the score. So you can write some sum of eight and nine. So simply you can do equals to and then you have to press control S8. Sorry, S8 first. So it is a B2, uh, B2 row column. And then add sign of plus. And then click on this S9 first response. So it gives response of S8 plus S9. And then you can copy this formula. And you will get the response here. Now at last, that is component 7. C7. So component 7. What you have to do is if sum is 0, then you have to give score 0. So you have to apply filter again here. If score is 0, if the sum is 0, then you have to give score 0. If sum is 1 or 2, then you have to give score 1. And then copy to sum 1 and 2. If sum is 3 or 4, then you have to give score 2. And last, if sum is 5 or 6, so there is only 5. And you have to assign score 3 and then remove the filter. So you will get the value of C7. Now for the global scoring, you have to add all the seven components. We have this C1, let's copy this components. C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C7 have just evaluated. Now for the global P SQY score. What you have to do is you have to just add all the components and you can simply do equals to sum and then take all this components and then enter. You will get value and then you can just copy this same formula uh, 
Now this is global PSQI score. You can copy this or you can leave it like this. So this is how we can calculate the global PSQI. Now, what is the significance of this score? If the score is between the score should be between 0 to 21. You can see in the instruction itself. So the seven component scores are then added to yield one global score with a range of 0 to 21. Zero indicates none of the participants got zero score. So zero indicates no difficulty and 21 indicates severe difficulties in all the areas. So you can evaluate if the score is near to zero, then there is very less problems. If the score is near to 21, then there is there are more problems, severe difficulties in sleeping. So this is all about PSQI scoring. Thank you very much.